Hi everyone, today I'm going to demo how to analyze the real stock using Elk Stack. Before we go over, I'm going to say thanks to the blog webkill.io. This website gave me idea how to analyze the real stock with ELK Stack. So here, I'm going to go to Yahoo Stock. You can easily say Yahoo Stock then yeah, this will give you this result. I'm going to go to Yahoo Finance, finance.yahoo.com. Here I'm going to analyze Facebook stock. So I'm going to say here FB and search it. Then this one is the Facebook stock. And it gives the data. The Facebook current price is 119.09. And I want to get I want to get the historical data for the Facebook. So I'm going to give the time filter here. I'm going to get five years historical data about the Facebook stocks. So I'm going to select five Y done, apply. Then you will see the five years historical data for Facebook stocks. So here I'm going to download the data. Click by clicking this download data button. And this will give you the table.csv file. Save it. So now you have the Facebook stock 5 years data in this table.csv file. As you can see here, we have the date, open, high, low, close, and so on. So we are going to use this data. You can see the 2016 data. Also, you have the 2012, as you can see here. Uh, we are going to get this input to the log stage, I'm going to filter it out and output to Elasticsearch so that we can visualize using Kibana from the Elasticsearch. Uh, before we use the log stage, let's check if the Elasticsearch and Kibana is working fine on my server. As you can see, we have the Kibana running here. Also, I'm going to check the Elasticsearch here, ps minus ef, Elasticsearch. And as you can see, we have the Elasticsearch running on my server. So now everything is ready. I'm going to config the log stash configuration file. So log stash underscore stock dot com file. You can get this file from my GitHub website as well. And here I'm going to uh, check the input filter and output. So here input, we are going to get the uh, information from file and the path should be absolute path in latest log stash version. Also, we are going to give the start position as beginning because by default, this start position is end because log stash expect the data is streaming and starts from the end point. But we are going to get the file from the CSV file. So we are going to set this one as beginning. And here, since db underscore path, we need this one for tutorial wise because we want to insert CSV file anytime we want. Then you need this one. If you don't have this one, then the first time you try will work, but second time this one will not work. Uh, this log stage will not uh, get the information from the CSV file. So uh, please make sure you you need, you need this since db underscore path in your the configuration file. So next one is filter. We are going to filter from the CSV file. Uh, we are going to use comma as a separator. And the columns are like this. And going to change the, uh, the value, open, high, low, close value as a number so that we can use these values in our visualization. And in the output, uh, we are going to output this uh, data to the Elasticsearch. And since we have the log stage Elastic Search and the Kibana in the same server. We are going to use host as lo uh, local host and the index as stock. And this stock index will be used in the Kibana. We are going to give this stock as an index in the Kibana. And going to get the log, log in our monitor because we have the standard out in the output. Okay. So now I'm going to run this uh, log stash minus F and give this uh, config file. So I run it, and as you can see, we have the log file in standard output, and as you can see, uh, the CSAV files information are coming through the uh, uh, log stage and coming to the Elasticsearch now. So everything is ready.
So I'm going to go to Kibana now. So since uh, Kibana and Elasticsearch, also Logstash, are in the same server, I'm going to use localhost 5601, going to the Kibana. Uh, click on management and click on the index pattern. So we are going to use stock index here. So I'm going to remove Logstash. I'm going to give stocks here. And I create it. And as you can see, we have the stack information here. We have the date and we have the high, close, every information uh, captured in Kibana now. So I'm going to go to discover now. And no result found now because we need to select the stack index here. And going to change the, the time filter. So we have the five years information, so I'm going to use the last five years from the time filter. And as you can see, we have lots of lots of information in this is discover. Let me select one document here. We have the tabular view here. I'm going to toggle timestamp so that we can see the time and open and close. So because we toggled timestamp, open and close, now the tabular view has simple view like time, open, close only. Now this tabular view looks prettier than before. I'm going to save it so that we can use this one into our dashboard. We are going to use this one at the last page of this uh, demo. And save it as stock toggled. That's it. So I'm going to go to visualize so that we can use this information in line chart. You know, these stocks usually show the data in the line chart, right? So I'm going to give the y-axis like, um, let's use the average here. And we want the, the close price. And uh, we are going to use here date histogram so that we can know the every date. Uh, how much was the stock price, close price, date histogram using date, and run it. Then as you can see here, we have this stock line graph here. Congratulations. So you made a line graph from the CSV file. I'm going to save it. Stock underscore, the line. Line chart 2. Okay. All right, what else we can do? Uh, you may want to know that how many information do we have, right? So now we have 1,156 documents in the index. I'm going to save it as well. And we are going to use this visualization on our dashboard. So I'm going to click on the dashboard now. I'm going to add some information on our dashboard. As you can see here, we have many names here because I made lots of charts in my Kibana. I'm going to add a stock line chart to which I just created. I clicked it twice, so I'm going to delete one. Uh, since it's too small, I'm going to increase the width of this graph. Now it's looking better. What else? Um, uh, we made a stock total here, so I'm going to put this information so that we can know that how many information we have in this uh, Elasticsearch. And also, as you remember, we made a stock toggled uh, discover and we put it in, in our dashboard. A little bit small, so I'm going to increase the width of this one. Okay, I got this. All right, it's better. Also here, what else we can do? Let's save it first. I'm going to give the name stock dashboard. And here we have the dashboard. So what else we can do here? Well, we can filter actually. You can drag and yeah, select. Now, as you can see, 
uh, directly changes the document count. Also, we change the uh, this one. Uh, keep not change this cover as well because we filtered the exact amount of the date. And also, you can filter one more if you want. Okay, that's it. So. As always, you can get this source code from my GitHub website. Please visit and download and you can practice yourself. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I will answer it. Thank you very much and uh, see you on any video.